going to try and do some more videos from now on. I've been a bit slack. I've taken a break. I've sort of been trying to do more flying than anything. I hope you've been enjoying those and been watching them. Done lots of shorts, been visiting loads of places around the UK. Plan on doing more visits and more flying as well. So please do carry on watching those if you like them, obviously. If you don't, don't bother. Anyway, I'm here today because I have this little controller right here. This is the um, T Pro from Jumper. So this is a not so new controller. It's been out for a little bit now, but it's the first time I've got one. So we're gonna go through a quick unboxing, go over the specs, look at how it binds up to a quad and stuff like that and see how it actually operates. So let's get into the box right now. So there she is, open her up. I do like Jumper's branding for these. I don't know, you know, where they came up with it, but I do like it, it looks really cool. Box is nice, straight into it. Instruction pack, so quick start. Tells you what everything does. This isn't the uh, Express LRS version. This is just their um, one controller to control all, like it says on the front, small, but controls all. So this is the multifunction version. It does have the bay on the back, so you can stick an actual unit in. I've actually got a Happy Model ELRS there, which I've done absolutely nothing with yet, but I will, I'm sure. Anyway, back to the video. Here's the jumper. Comes in a nice case. These cases are really nice, really quite useful. Nice little handle there. Even if you don't like the controller, you've got a nice little box, haven't you? So, great stuff to have. Open her up, and there she is, sat in her box. So obviously if you are gonna use this, it's just use the box for the controller, because it fits absolutely perfectly. And you get some nice gimbal protection as well. Very loose gimbal protection, but it's there. It's the first time I've actually held this, I gotta say, it doesn't feel too bad at all, guys. Sticks, for some reason, feel a little bit high for me. Gimbals feel nice. It smells brand new. Yeah, it, it feels a bit plasticky, but it still feels nice. It doesn't. Feels absolutely fine to be honest with you. Rocker switches, and these are just switches, press switches, so they don't actually do anything, they don't click and stay in place. So they're momentary switches, is what they're called, isn't it? So that is the only problem with this, I can see straight off the bat. It's basically, I would use that for an arm normally on the Tango if I'm comparing it to my Tango. But I can't do that, so it would have to be on one of these rocker switches for the arm. And then you'd either have to go arm, disarm, turtle mode, or arm, disarm, turtle mode, buzzer. But we will find out, we'll do a setup as well and see what we can do with it. It's got a nice um, holder there, lanyard holder. So that's good. All the first ones, they never actually had those on. It was a little complaint of mine, but they have all they all do them now, and that looks pretty balanced to me, to be honest with you. So this doesn't come with any batteries. The batteries go in under here. So one and two. Probably not gonna be able to get this one out now. There we go. So two batteries, not supplied. So I've got two batteries kicking around in the original jumper, so we'll stick those in in a minute. Uh, I don't know what else I can say about it, about the batteries in. Feels a little plasticky, but it doesn't put me off, to be honest with you, especially for the price point. Uh, if I was looking at a controller, one of these sort of things, I mean, here's the original jumper. I think it's definitely better than that, because I never really like these switches. And all of these are pretty much the same as the Beta FPV ones. They're all okay, but they're not very good. They're not brilliant, brilliant, are they? They're all okay. But that one, straight away, the gimbals feel so much better. 
I can actually see myself flying with that, so that's probably going to become my FR Sky controller of choice. So let's get some batteries, let's start it up, and let's see what we can do with that. See if we can bind it to a quad as well and go for some flights. Forgot to mention, also in the actual case here, you do get an expansion bay component for the back of the controller. So you can actually stick this straight onto the back, and that's where you would actually do your Express LRS or your external modules, or whichever one you wanted to stick on there, be it Crossfire, whatever. So it has got the expansion for that. So you can use it to control everything you have from your FR Sky, Futaba if you wanted to. Uh, yeah, to your Crossfire, to your Express LRS. So it will do everything for you. So not a badly controller. With that in mind, let's get some batteries in it and let's see what it does. So we have a couple of batteries here. Let's get these inside and get it powered up. You obviously need to make sure you get the polarity correct, which was an issue for the original jumper. They didn't sort of mark out which was a plus and a minus, but they're conveniently marked a plus and a minus in there. So you cannot get your batteries the wrong way around. Well done. Here's all the small details, isn't it? So that slots in there. That slots in there. And then you try and get these back on. And you would probably never get these back on quite how they work because they're not the easiest. So, that's not too bad, but not perfect. Still bulging out there. That'll do, that'll do for now. So there, let's power her up. How do you power it up? There we go, middle button. Middle button, that powers it up. Fail safe, not set. Yes, exit that. That's the exit button. Literally have never used one of these ever in my life. So, comes with a model pre-installed. With the batteries in it, it does feel quite a bit heavier. It feels quite nice actually, if I'm honest with you. I, I really do like the form factor of this. It's pretty much like the TBS Tango. So Tango 2 that is. So you, well, I can't really go wrong with that. It's, it's the form factor that I prefer. So I can see myself using this completely for all my little whoops and stuff like that. I think it would be far superior to their original jump. I have been using that one and it's a little tricky for my hands and I do flip these switches all the time. So that's not very good, is it? But this will be better. Even if I have to put arm on a rocker, it'll be fine. I can definitely use it. So yeah, like that. So I'm gonna set a model up quickly in here. Uh, I've done other videos where you can set models up. It's exactly the same principle because all of these use the same uh, software inside. So they all use the same principle of actually setting up a model and binding to a model. Please do. I'll ref link up my other ones here. It's exactly the same. Please follow that and then you'll bind your quad. Any questions, bang a comment below. I really do try and reply to all the comments and stuff like that. So do bang the comment down below. Also the thumbs up, do that. Also the subscribe. While you're there, you might as well. So let's get it bound up to a quad and let's do some flights and see what it's actually like. So we're quickly going to bind the um, controller up to the happy model and that's what we're going to use to test this controller on. And what we're going to do is we're going to, it comes with a model already in it, but we're going to add a new one. So press this button here, takes you to the menu, use the scroll wheel to select number two, press the scroll wheel again, create a new model, press it again. And there you have a new model. And we're actually on page one of 12 here. We need to use these arrows here, or this button if you prefer. It takes us to page two. And then basically what we're looking for, keep on scrolling down, get rid of all this stuff that to be honest with you, I have absolutely no idea what it does. And then we're looking for internal RF. So at the moment it's off, click the wheel, and we are gonna scroll it to multi, which is what we want. Scroll down again, type, and this one has an FR Sky in it. So we want FR Sky, so keep on scrolling. Don't need to bind yet, mate, do we? 
and we're going to go with FR Sky X. I'm going to scroll down to the subtype. I'm going to put it on D8. Leave everything else how it is. Scroll the wheel to receive a bind. So that is ready to bind. Get your battery into your happy model. Find the bind button, and it is just here. It's a very, <clears throat> it's a very small button. It's just there. Actually, looks like it's in bind mode already. And then press the bind on here. That'll chip. Lights are flashing. So the red light's flashing now. That means that this is communicating with this. And there, I've just got a solid bind. So I know that is bound. That is working fine. So I do have to set up my um, switches and my sticks on this. Well, my switch is more than anything to be able to control this. That is actually on, if you follow the original jumper video, that actually shows you how to set up the switches. Exactly the same process on that as it is on this. So please follow that before you try and fly your quad linked up here. I always forget which corner it is. Do set up your switches as it won't work at all. Right, so I'm going to set up my switches quickly and then we're going to go do some flight tests.
one of you to see this. Not many people get to see me in this position. But here's, here's the hang of the actual controller on the lanyard. And it is actually pretty nice. So let me start up this camera actually, I forgot about that. The hang's pretty good. Let's see if I can get over it. Can you see it? Probably can't on there. But yeah, that's a pretty good position. It's pretty much vertical. So the actual holding position is really good. It's not bad at all. I do like the weight of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm all in on this controller. I do like it. It's very nice. I'm actually having to use that as an arm switch. It's not that bad. It's not that bad, to be honest with you. I know we have issues with all these little switches here. They don't work, but I would never use all these switches anyway. I'm just, just a complete overkill. I basically want these sticks. I want a beeper. I want an arm. I want to flip over after crash. And that's all I look for on a controller. So that... It has got everything you need. If you can put up with that as an arm or this as an arm, then that's fine. If you want loads of other things, you know, that's doing all these bloody whistles and all these buttons do things, then this controller probably isn't for you, to be honest with you. But for FPV, for my purposes, it will do absolutely fine. There is nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Feels good in the hands. I like the weight of it. The lanyard hang test is a winner. That is fine as well. So this, this controller will be replacing all the other ones that I was using to fly my little whoops and stuff like that. Cause you know, my bigger quads, it is gonna be Tango. It's gonna be TBS Crossfire all the way. Uh, even if I was to change to Express LRS, I would get a module for the back of the actual Tango. The Tango controller is the winner for me. But that one for the money, for all my little whoops as well and stuff like that, definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely gonna be using that. Hope that video wasn't too bad for you guys. It's been an absolute age. I know I stutter all over these bloody things. I've been trying to get better for years. I still haven't. Who knows? I'm just going to carry on stuttering. Please smash that subscribe. Hit that thumbs up, guys. And I will see you again. Cheers.